guys, Rick Shaw here. It's the 8th, and uh, we were down, uh, got our grocery shop done and all that, and then we picked this up today. We picked up our local run around machine, and uh, you can see she's uh, extremely old school, nothing fancy. You got your uh, drums in the front, drums in the back. Kickstarter, plus it's got an electric start down there. You can see that. It's a 125, as you can see. Uh, I rode it home, uh, zoomed, it, zoomed it up and down, you know, zoomed it in second gear and then decelerated, uh, you know, start the brake in on it. Uh, they didn't have a blue one, but they got the black one. I wanted the blue one, but that's okay. We got a black one. Uh, I had to ride it home in the rain. These fenders, I will never get a tail tidy. That nothing got on me that is great that is an absolutely great fender it's quiet uh, which I'm really into I'm not into uh, loud anything I wasn't able to test the light it seems really sure-footed uh, I was in traffic and almost had a dead stop and I was able to stay on top of it out without putting my feet down uh, it's not a one down three up it's a four speed it's not one down and three up it's four up now, something you guys got to know when you're buying a motorcycle here, and I said this on vlogs before, and it'll get you in trouble quick, fast, and in a hurry. A lot of these bikes here, it's uh, one up and four down. Yeah, and when you're just riding leisurely, you can remember that, but whenever uh, I would get in trouble, then all of a sudden my brain reverts to what I always know and instead of going down a gear I went up a gear and I had no power so be careful of that this one I specifically ask them if you know it's it's down to downshift and up to upshift so the way it works is if you kick it all the way down it goes into neutral and then you just kick up to go first up to hit second up third up fourth so that that's fantastic that works out great for me uh, I zoomed it through, was getting, weaving it in through the traffic. The mirrors are really good on this bike. Uh, they're absolutely fantastic for me. You know, on me, I always like them out as far as I can get them. I, I'll probably move this out even a little bit more, as much as I can get them out. Uh, but it's got all the standard stuff on it. Nothing fancy, no tachometer though. Neutral light is great, I'm glad. No, no gear indicator or anything like that. Uh, odometer uh yep just that no trip meter or nothing nothing fancy guys i got it for a thousand bucks brand spanking new a thousand bucks so i don't care what anyone says to get me on two wheels for a thousand dollars for a brand new machine and it's not some chinese yapa denso yaka 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 chop suey it's not it's a yamaha and uh i'm real happy with that uh, I've always loved the Yamaha products. Uh, I'm tossed up between Yamaha and and Honda uh, uh, as a love affair. I love them both. Now, I've had a lot of other bikes. I had Suzuki's I liked. I had Kawasaki's I liked. But they had their little deals with them. Uh, I actually had a uh, Suzuki. I was coming home from the dealership. I bought the thing in July. And I was coming home from the dealership, and it was 104 degrees that day. And I was sitting at a, a red light, and I just took off, and the poo, it just boom, it crapped through the carburetor. Uh, I pulled it over to the side, and it uh, it was the first uh, Suzuki that had the cam chain down the center. Usually, they put the cam chain on a four-cylinder motor down off the one side. This was one down the center, and it just came up. Split, it split the the head right in half, and uh, pit, uh, it wasn't a, a non-interference motor. It was an interference motor, uh, and it just smashed into the pistons. Just ba basically ate the motor on the way home. Uh, I had I think 17 miles on it, and then Suzuki, they didn't want to warrant it. They said abuse. I'm not kidding you. They did. They refused the warning. They kept saying abuse. Well, you can't abuse a bike to get it to do that. 
I mean, that's that's years and years of doing bad to a bike. So I, I that's where me and Suzuki we had a we got divorced. Now what happened was the dealership. Uh, my brothers all bought bikes from there. My father bought his bike from there. My sister, everybody bought bikes from this place. And after Suzuki wouldn't do anything, he says, "Look, I." I, I can't take this bike and give it back, but he says, look, I've got a, another one. And he went he went in and just took the motor out of another brand new bike that he had there. And then he, he swapped it over at no charge. But I, I, had, I didn't have a bike all the way up until December because all the crap was Suzuki. So that was my, my first new Suzuki, and it was my last Suzuki. Uh, I mean, it was absolutely ridiculous. But this one here, talking about old school, it's got the big choke, babe. <laughs> got the choke. But uh, it fires right up. Uh, I can I can actually start it with my hand on the Kickstarter. Uh, hey, it's a Yamaha. What do you want? It's a, it's a fantastic machine. I, I just love my Yamahas. Uh, had a few of them. But uh, that's that's the machine. Uh, and you guys come here. This These are great little machines. You don't need to buy some kind of monster you know 1000 cc anything <laughs> these are going to go as just as fast as you want to go uh around here you want to get out on the highway that's a different story i still don't think you need these big monstrous ones i see these guys passing us on the highway doing you know 190 kilometers per hour and the things are so loud and i'm just thinking how, how ridiculous is that it's just to me that's absolutely stupid but uh I'm liking it. I'm, I'm just loving the old school air about it. I really love the uh, foot things. I already took the kids for a little ride. I'm going to adjust that back brake here real quick. Uh, the back brake, you have to push the pedal down. I always like them a little tight. Uh, 500 kilometers, I take her in. They're going to do the oil change. i got a free service on the first one. I'm going to have them put synthetic in it. It takes 2040. It takes regular gas, nothing fancy. Uh, I just, uh, they they gave, put a liter in it, and I just put 450 pesos worth of gas in it. It's got a nice, good-sized tank. And uh, here again, too, these fenders. You ain't gonna ever see me taking those babies off. I did not get my feet wet or anything, and I was going through some puddles. So they did, uh, Yamaha just did a fantabulous job on this. It's a tricycle bike. Next year, we'll re-register it as a tricycle. It's got all the mounts under there ready for it. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, uh, we're gonna get tricycle put on this. But uh, I'm gonna let the, I'm gonna let the bike say the deal. So let's put this in here, and we're going to say, how are we going to do it, buddy? Rickshaw out. <laughs> Don't forget to pray for each other, guys.